Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly general reading for January 8th through January 14th. Now this is intended to be a general reading. We will see what comes up. I am going to do a love reading next. Okay. Now remember, this may not resonate with you as it is for you know a general audience. Just take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so we are good. Well, let me make sure that this is zoomed in. Oh, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? So the basis of your reading is the Wheel of Fortune, okay? There's destiny. There's destiny in play this week. You know, maybe you could be receiving some, some gift. I'm not sure. With that Wheel of Fortune, you could be getting anything. This is good luck. Good luck is on the way. Maybe you're letting go of something that was really heavy, it appears that you have. You know, you've let go of something. Perhaps your shine had been dimmed, and, and now it's time to bring your fire back, okay? It appears to me that uh, you guys are, are just letting your guard down, no longer having your defenses up, just, just moving on. You know, you've let go of something very, very heavy, and you're probably feeling really good about it. I mean, good fortune is on the way, and I think this week is just the beginning, okay? I really do. I feel like um, instead of thinking about it, you know, instead of just, I, I feel like action has already been taken. Action has been taken in your favor, and you are moving forward. You're on, you're on the right path. Um, there could even be some travel on the horizon. You could be uh, contemplating a move or, or finishing up the plans. Either way, a new chapter is starting in your life. Congratulations. I mean, when the Wheel of Fortune comes up in a reading and it's the basis of your reading, a change, of course, has started and it's bringing you closer to your life's purpose. It's your lucky break. I mean, it is your lucky break. This week is just the beginning. It's like you are taking action towards bringing your ships in. You know, you're taking action towards your future. No longer sitting back waiting for it to happen. You are taking action, okay? It, I see a gathering. You guys could be going to a gathering this week. Maybe some kind of celebration. Um, could be a marriage. Could be a wedding. <laughs> Same thing. Could be a wedding. Could be anything where there's a bunch of people where you're getting together together. And celebrating, okay? You could be attending some kind of celebration. I also feel like, um, you know, you may have been dealing with somebody who was hot-headed, um, controlling, uh, maybe even a little overly aggressive. Maybe this person was um, deceitful and you knew it. Maybe you were betrayed by somebody and you've decided that you're just going to let it go. You're going to move away from it. You're not going to lose sleep over this anymore. You're just, you know who they are. You know what they're doing and you're not going to lose sleep. You're moving away from this betrayal because it doesn't serve you. All right. Um, I'm going to get some clarifiers here. I want to clarify this King of Wands in reverse. If you got, you know, you may start out the the week feeling ill, and I hate to bring that up, but you may be start out the week feeling like you don't have any fire left, you don't have any energy, um, you know. But I feel like you are going to, um, you're gonna let go of it somehow. Let's see what comes up. You're not gonna quit. Okay. Yeah, you you start the week out feeling like lethargic, not having energy, not really wanting to do anything. Like your fire's been put out, you know. But I feel like the reason that that has happened is because it's time for you to broaden your horizon. It's time for you to build a new foundation. It's time for you to start over. It's time for you to do something else. There you are. It's time for you to get your life back on track. It's time for you to stand up. And do what's right for you. So yeah, you start out the week feeling perhaps you feel a little bit ill, but you push through it. You push through it and you take the time to focus on what you really want. Okay, you 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 you, you feel ill, but it gives you the time to um, 
think you know when you're ill usually you're in bed and you're contemplating and you're thinking and I think that's what's happened is you've you've lost some of your shine you've lost some of your vibrancy you stay there you think about things and you try to and you you uh form a new path you know what I mean that's what I see it's like you 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 have this this downtime which allows you to form a new path where you can stand back up and you can show the world who you are you can you can um find that inner wisdom you know find that inner wisdom to to be great again you know what i mean it's like you do some soul searching perhaps at the beginning of the week because you you it's time to to get your life back on track and to take the lead you know, so you're just, it's like, it's like a, the beginning of the week is kind of like form, uh, formation, a period of formation where you are forming a plan of what's to come, okay? Finding, using your wisdom to come up with the, the blueprint, okay? I want to clarify this this seven of swords what is this seven of swords this betrayal some kind of betrayal in love perhaps you've been be betrayed in love maybe it's from an earth sign or somebody that was very hot-headed stubborn um, controlling maybe this person deceived you and you've been stuck you've been stuck in that predicament and perhaps now you are deciding to to form a new partnership with somebody else. Yeah, you're getting over the past. You you are you're starting to get over a past betrayal and starting a new journey. It looks to me like you you may be uniting with your true mate. Okay, you may be re unite not re or could be re because I said it uniting with your true mate towards the end of the week. You know, in death brings new life. So it appears to me that you guys are starting a new life. A new chapter, a new road. You're going down a new road. The beginning of the week, you may be feeling ill, like your fire's been put out. There's nowhere else to go. But you're formating the new plan to get to get yourself back on track. Towards the end of the week is when you have the actual transformation and you're able to let go of the betrayal. You're able to let go of this, this negative uh, entity that's in your life. No more, no more waiting for it to happen, taking action, letting go. No more living in the past. I see that somebody that is watching this is going to go through a transformation. New life, completion here. There's a completion of one cycle and a beginning of a new one. And I think it starts this week. Okay. I think it starts this week. You know, I feel like it's something you've been expecting. You've been expecting this ending. It finally ends. The end comes and this new life begins. And I think with this new life, this new beginning brings a new love. Or a new partnership. Okay? Could be even a reconciliation with somebody from your past. It certainly could be. Maybe it's somebody that you've been committed to in the past or it leads to a commitment. But there is definitely completion here. Okay, so this this is uh, it's a time. The week starts out perhaps feeling down, feeling, you know, uh, lethargic, you know, no flame, no fire, no energy. And I think that period of time allows you to make the plans for your transformation and as you make the plans you take the steps to, into the transformation you start heading down that path you start to let go of the betrayal you start to let go of holding on and as you let go 
something new starts to happen. This transformation starts to take place. And as I said, with death brings new life. Okay? So I think many of you are starting a new life. I'm going to do a love reading next. So we're not going to really elaborate on that Two of Cups too much here because this is a general reading. The Two of Cups can be partnership, any kind of partnership. Can be in work, can be in love. Could be a reconciliation. But I see a major completion here, a completion of a, a period of um, stagnation going down a new path perfect timing perfect timing Aries it's time it's time for your transformation perfect timing now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations the doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side, supporting your positive outcome. Keep going. Make your plan and take the steps towards your own personal transformation. The time is now, right now. To get your life back on track. To bring the structure back. So Aries, this is what I have for your general reading. Stay tuned for your love reading. 